Hey travelers, I recently did a video comparing these box fans to this custom fan array. Obviously pretty different designs and assemblies. Interesting data on that one. I'll link it up here if you didn't see it. I wanted to add that and compare it to a squirrel cage blower. So this is pulled from a furnace. This is probably, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years old or something like that. It's got a half horsepower motor in there, 120 volts. And this is representative of what you would see in a lot of residential furnaces or air handlers. These can be found really inexpensively, and they're pretty good. This is actually a pretty serious threat for something like this. This is my first choice for airflow in this assembly. I went with this for various other reasons, which I covered in this video. I'll link it up here. But this is very good if you just want brute airflow and you have the size of space and things like that. And I'm curious to see how this performs because I think this is probably going to beat this in a lot of regions. But we'll see. I'll start out with the PSC or permanent split capacitor motor that is in most of these, but I also have some ECM replacement motors that I want to swap into there. I need a belly band adapter for but I think I got one laying around somewhere. And I wanted to see how these fare. These are rated at different speeds. Some of these have PWM input capabilities, some do not. And they're rated 277, 240, 120 volts, different horsepower and speed ratings. And I wanted to see how these off the shelf, readily available, fairly cheap motors swap into there and how that impacts the efficiency and things like that. But I need to cut some plywood or something to get this mounted into this window. And I probably could get two of these into this window assembly. Um, but I don't want to deal with that for now. Uh, it'll be a little bit too heavy and complicated to mount. So I'll do one for starters and it should provide pretty good airflow for what I need here. Um, biggest issue with something like this is this is actually moderately heavy and it's going to kind of hang out of the window and it's going to be difficult to hold it in place. But I'll do a janky way and we'll see how it works out. I wanted to cover how these were in before I whipped them out. For now they were just shoved in there and I uh, taped around all the gaps so it was reasonably airtight and you can see the back side of this mover is just open. I'll flip it around. Look over here. Right, so this is in the way impeding airflow um, just to minimize rain ingress here and um, works well for that but it does mean there's more pressure required to flow air out here. Um, so yeah one thing to watch out for. The other side the intakes over there they have two louvers just like that on them and they have screens on the inside here and then there's these big filter boxes that redirect the air down into there and you can see stuffed with foam and I'll yank this guy out so you can take a look screen in there foam and there's two of them so that's the airflow setup, and I'm going to measure it with the same thing I did in my other video. The air speed meter on a stick shoved into the center of the opening. With that, we can estimate the airflow, assuming it's laminar and fairly even. And we'll also measure the differential pressure in the building. And of course, the power consumption of the fan array. It's in, it's running. Not the most secure installation ever, but I got some plywood over here, jammed in, got some screws at an angle with some PVC jammed in. Window frame is not modified, and this is all removable. No holes are made in it, and I can put the glass back in if I wanted. It's secure enough. The hole in the plywood over here is slightly bigger than the outlet of this blower, um, so it shouldn't be too much of an impedance, but of course, the louvers exist, so just as a reference, not super scientific, but to get an idea of the noise out here. This is actually really loud. It's moving a good amount of air, but this is way louder than that fan array. I think this is the highest speed though. Okay. We'll get to the testing. It's in. It's set to the lowest speed tap right now. I'll show you the instrumentation. There's the power meter reading nothing because it's not plugged in. This will occasionally read some numbers because wind. Yeah. But there's no fan running right now. There's a differential pressure. Again, this is very, very little, so it's not going to be super accurate. It's close to zero most of the time. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's a little below zero. I got to manually change the speed taps on this plug here, so I'll have to cut in between, otherwise it'll be a bit messy and long. And I'll show you the wind speed meter tucked in there about the way it was before. 
So this is with a conventional permanent um, split capacitor motor, and I'll plug it in. There's the power, it'll take a bit, come up the speed, the pressure, and might as well add the noise in as well. So we'll go outside. This is quiet, of course. Low speed, feel the air. Yeah. There we are, we'll call it 4.9 miles an hour, 495 watts pressure, about 5 pascals. I'll change the speed taps and I'll go through it and grab it. There it's running speed 2 out of 4. And there's the pressure, 8 pascals. 6.2 miles an hour and 673 watts. Speed three out of four. We'll call it 6.9. It was reading really a little higher earlier. And 6.9 miles an hour, 803 watts. Eh, 10 or 11 Pascal. Here it is on the maximum speed. On this blower, I think this is actually designed as a oversized speed so it's not designed to run on here i guess it's beyond its name point rating 9.4 miles an hour 1100 watts 1110 or so 20 pascals i uh, yanked that out just to verify with this real quick so this guy back in same condition same meter and all that reading zero at the moment and I'll plug the power supplies in. This is running at minimum speed with all the fans on. So speed is zero, all the fans running at minimum speed. Of course, you can turn fans off and reduce it. 101 watts, 6.2-ish, 6.4 miles an hour. It takes a bit for that to stabilize. Uh, eight pascals. I'll just go through this quick just to verify that the numbers are believable and they didn't change much from the last time. Oh, wow. <laughs> With this fan, I was getting 20 pascals at 1,100 watts. Here we are, over 20 pascals, 200 watts. So let's see if I put the fan down to one. Uh, technically, I can have settings in between these numbers or just arbitrary. Yeah, okay. Well, it's in between one and two, 140 watts. So this fan assembly at 20% out of 100 PWF beats that blower, squirrel case blower. And if you heard at the beginning of the video, the noise that that fan made outside. This is more air. Yeah, that's dramatically quieter compared to what it was before in the beginning of the video with the first one. I don't know. Not a lot of faith in that. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll still probably swap an ECM uh, motor in because it will help that a lot especially at low speeds, but it's not looking too good right now. I'll just run this through the various other speeds just to double check. Run with the four and we'll get the power. We have 370 watts and well, we're already starting to peg that meter. Run the six, the meter is all the way up. This takes a bit, 500 watts. So yeah, we were getting 20 Pascals before at 1100. This is over 60. 500 watts. This is also probably about a similar noise. Oh wow, it's hard to close the door. You go to open the door. It actually, you see, there's a lot of uh, suction in there pulling this door in. It's hard to actually close it. And just for fun, we'll just blow this meter out, obviously. Similar power, still actually a little less than that. 91. And we look over here. Okay, that's fine. That's definitely fine. But that's moving a lot more air. And the bear 
scared by that because the door just gets violently ripped out of my hand. You know, I'm, I'm pulling it closed hard and it'll suck itself out. You really got to yank it. and the data. The previous numbers that I had for my custom fan array were close enough for my quick test. I'll just use the old data for that. Close enough for the time being. And yeah, we managed to achieve around 20 pascals and nine and a half mile an hour. And you convert that using a simple online calculator, we get around 1650 CFM. So not that bad in terms of airflow, but the efficiency is bad, man. 1100 watts, one and a half CFM per watt, 1.8 CFM per watt on low. So pretty much what you expect, the efficiency drops a little bit as the speed goes up, but it's really awful at high speeds. And the absolute airflow honestly isn't that good. I would have expected a bit more airflow than this and dramatically less power, but it really is operating pretty close to the name ratings, the, the numbers on the motor, the sticker on the motor. So I guess it's working fine, but yeah, that's really bad. And you look at something like this, you know, Here's where we were similar enough, 9.4 and 20, and 10 and 21. I was doing 8.8 .8 CFM per watt versus 1.5. So nearly enough in order of magnitude, close enough, we're talking considerable gap between the power consumption of the custom van array and the furnace blower. So I guess this isn't the way to go, and maybe I'll have to swap one of these guys in and see if it'll improve it that much. That's way more of a gap than I'd expected, so it doesn't bring me a lot of hope. But I don't think this is a good solution. Um, this is, you know, just ripped out of a furnace. This is, I believe, a Lennox furnace it came out of. Probably two-ton rated, two-ton cooling size. And yeah, it's not good, so maybe don't use those. I don't know, box fans were pretty competitive, comparatively. We got a lot better efficiency. The difference was the box fans took up the entire area and you couldn't get more in it, right? So if you're space constrained, the box fans aren't a great option, but the efficiency is eh, and the real appeal with these is they're dirt cheap, right? For the price of these, how easy they are put in, they're a great option if you just want to do a smash and grab and just go for it. They work. They're not good, but they work. Um, this has pretty good airflow density, so roughly 1600 CFM for this size, and you could fit two, maybe three of these on there if you want to get aggressive. So comparatively, you could get you know, maybe three, four, five thousand CFM uh, in that board, and yeah, you probably could beat this number, and especially if you had a, a different motor and you overspeed the blower you could get more airflow than this. But the efficiency is awful, really, really bad. 1100 watts for 1600 CFM. I mean, it's 200 to 1100, that's a big difference. So this is a concerning option. It doesn't seem to be as good as I expected. I thought it would be dramatically better, but it's really a really bad performer. I don't know, maybe we'll try one of these and see how it holds in the future, but until then, if you have any ideas for a video, you have any comments, suggestions, let me know. Maybe I'll explore it. And until next time, stay ashen.